Let's look at number five from worksheet 12. This is also an application of the Faraday's law. So in this problem, we have a coil that has 50 turns. That's a circular coil. And this coil is in some magnetic field and the magnetic field is parallel to the area vector. So the area vector is perpendicular to the face. So that's the face of the circular loop or the surface of the circular loop and area vector is perpendicular to that face. Okay, And this magnetic field is parallel to this area vector. In other words, this circular loop is in this magnetic field that is parallel to this area vector. So that means at t is equal to zero time, the angle between area vector and magnetic field is zero degrees. That's theta is equal to zero degrees. And we have n of the loop 50, or n of the y, uh, coil 50 loops. Area is given 0 0.020 meters squared. And it's in magnetic field of 0 0.18 Tesla. Now, in the time period of 0 0.10 seconds, the orientation is changed so that the angle between the area vector and B is 30 degrees. Okay, so we are rotating this loop so that that's the magnetic field so that the area vector makes an angle of 30 degrees with this B, okay? Now we want to find the EMF produced in this coil because of the change in the orientation. We know that uh, when we change the orientation, um, it changes the magnetic flux and the change in magnetic flux produces the EMF from Faraday's law. So Faraday's law tells us that EMF is given by minus N delta phi over delta T and this is the change in flux that produces the EMF. Okay, so we can um, neglect this negative sign. This negative sign basically tells us the direction of the current which we will find by using another uh, law called Lenz's law. But for now, we'll only find the magnitude of the EMF. Okay, so N is the number. Um, phi, we define phi as the product of B, A and cosine of angle between B and A. So that means we can write phi is B, A cosine theta over delta T. Now, in this case, we are changing angle and we are keeping B and A uh, constant. We are not changing uh, B and A. So we can pull B and A out of this delta because there is no change in B and A. So that means we have delta cosine theta over delta T. Now we can plug in the numbers. So N is 50. Magnetic field is 0 0.18 Tesla. Area is given 0 
meters squared over time is 0 0.10 seconds and then we have this delta cosine theta so delta cosine theta is cosine final is 30 degrees minus cosine initial is 0 degrees okay so if I do the calculation let's see what I get so 50 times 0.18 times 0 0.02 times put the cosine in parenthesis so cosine 30 degrees minus cosine 0 degrees and that over 0 0.10 That gives me a negative of 0.24. Let me do one more time. So, So that gives me negative 0.24 volts. And again, we don't need to worry about negative sign. We can just consider the positive sign. So that's 0 0.24 volts. That's the EMF. Okay. We only need to worry about the magnitude. So I'm neglecting this minus sign. So that's the EMF. And we need to find the current. Current is I is E over R, okay, from Ohm's law. Because we know delta V is I times R, so R is delta V over R. So E is 0 0.24 volts, and then R is 20 ohms. So we can do the calculation, and that gives us. 0 0.012 amperes okay that's the current so we got emf of 0 0.24 volts and current of 0 0.012 amperes